Psalms chapter number 60, 1 Peter, 60th book of the Bible. <clears throat> you know, there are people out there that, oh, I don't read the Old Testament, it's boring. You know how much you miss, that you can't find in Revelation? This is one of those chapters, if you don't read, you miss a lot. Arise! Guess what that is? Shine! Guess who that is? For thy light is come. Second Advent. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. So the Lord Jesus Christ is likened to the sun. The sun is likened to the Lord Jesus Christ. Light. John chapter 1. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The seventh. I forget which of the seven of the trumpets, the vials, or the bowls. But there is a period of time at the end of the tribulation. Lights are out. Over the whole earth. And gross darkness the people they are so far in the wickedness of with Satan there Satan ruined the world the Antichrist no Bible no Holy Spirit you imagine with that time of period you think America is bad today you think it's really worse than Sodom and Gomorrah you wait till the Holy Spirit's going and Satan will have his free will you talk about violence but the Lord shall rise upon me. Amen. And his glory shall be seen upon me. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings to brightness of thy rising. Those would probably be the nations that, that are, the, are the sheep nations that have helped and approved of Israel. Lift up thy eyes round about, and see. All they gather themselves together, they shall come to thee. Thy son shall come from afar, from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see, and flow, and flow together. Flow, it's just a complete current of people. Thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be co converted unto thee. Now the sea, when you, I forget what chapter that whore is, when it says the waters, it says the waters are the people. The people are likened to a sea here is flowing unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. You know, instead, you know, there's going to be no cars. You're going to have wall-to-wall -wall camels, traffic with camels. The dromedaries, now that's an Egyptian camel, excuse me, Arabian camel. It has one hump. It can be saddled and cart. In other words, you can ride it, and it can also be a beast of burden. And its hair... Is used for clothing, so that's where John. The, this is where John the Baptist would have got his outfit from when he wore a camel hair a girdle. It come from a dromedary, and it's known for its speed. Dromedaries of Midian and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense. Does that sound familiar? You notice they don't bring frankincense. He's not going to die no more. They're going to bring king, gold. They're going to bring prayers, incense. But no frankincense. See, you see how the Bible is? You just read over that. You know, you don't even think about the Lord Jesus Christ at his at the two years old when the, when the uh, when the mad guy comes. Now, by this verse, I don't know, I would, I would assume to say they came on camels. They bought gold, silver, and frankincense. Well, they took off the frankincense and just brought the incense. 
Well, where's the silver? It's right there in, in Israel. The redemption is the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood thereof. And they show forth the praises of the Lord. Go over there today and see if they praise the Lord. They praise Allah. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. Kedar is Ishmael. Do you think they're worshiping God over there? Of the Bible? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? They're worshiping the God of Ishmael, not, not even Abraham. Ishmael is his own little boat. Allah. We don't worship Allah. And the words I'm saying today, they, I, they may get, listen, some of these messages are getting out in weird places. I, I, I can follow some of these things, and you know what? These messages are getting in the Muslim countries. And I may be marking myself, but I'm going to speak the truth. All the flocks of Kedar, that's Ishmael, shall be gathered together unto thee, God. The rams of Neboeth shall minister unto thee, take care of thee. That's what minister means, it means to take care of. Imagine a guy calling himself a minister and doesn't do anything for the people. But the people do something for him. They shall come up with acceptance of my altar. There's the altar. Be with the Lord Jesus Christ there. There's the altar, the brazen altar. I will glorify the house of my glory. Well, he wanted to say that house was the glory when he went into it and visited it. But he said, you know, you made it a den of thieves. You imagine what Satan's going to do to it? If the Jews defile the temple, what do you think Satan is going to do when he's sitting in the holies of holies on the mercy seat? You ever going back and read through uh, Kings and Chronicles and the prophets and know what they did in that temple, all the false gods, and they brought in extra altars and closed it up? <coughs> <coughs> Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Something about the doves having windows. I don't understand that. But fly as a cloud that's, that's quick. Surely the isles shall wait for the for yeah, surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarsha first, to bring thy sons from afar. Their silver and their gold with them. Oh, there's the silver. And unto the name of the Lord thy God. Oh, Israel's bringing silver and gold. To Jesus. Silver, gold, and incense. Interesting three names are coming to the Lord. To the Holy One of Israel. That's got to be Jesus Christ. Because who have we been studying is going to be in Jerusalem. Because he has glorified thee, Jesus Christ. God has glorified him. And he's the Lord thy God. And the sons of strangers, okay? You see that? Well, look at verse 9. Bring thy sons. Who's that? If verse 10 says sons of strangers. The sons of verse 9 are the Jews. And they take the ships of Tarshish. Is that the, I'm not sure, but isn't that the place where Jonah wanted to go? Tarshish? see if I can find Jonah real quick. He got in a ship. Let me, let me point you, that's the same. I'm going to start, I think I start with a D. My fingers can't turn the page. Well, I'm, I hear it, yeah. Isn't that funny, where, J, where Jonah wants to go away from God... Here is the same place bringing the Jews back to the land. Now, isn't that... An, I don't read the Old Testament. That same place that Jonah wanted to go, they are bringing the Jews back. And the sons of strangers, Gentiles, shall build up thy walls. 
and their king shall minister to, unto thee. Help, gay, help, uh, take care of. What shall I do for you, Jesus? What do you want, Jesus? What can I do for you, Jesus? That's a minister. You know, he goes visit the sick people. He, he, you know, helps them whatever it needs to be done and guides them and aids the people. For in my wrath, I smote thee, tribulation, Jacob's trouble. But in my favor, I had mercy on thee. He has never wiped out that nation completely, even though some people will preach that. You know what God's mercy is? Revelation 12 says he has prepared a place for them. And he's even given wings to them to fly. What did that say? Who are these that fly as a cloud? Go over to Revelation 12 and find out what that is. That's Israel in flight to sail a Petra, or wherever they go. I don't read the Old Testament. What a shame. I only listen to what Paul has to say. Paul doesn't even match what's about to happen, about what about the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, he, he tells us how we should conduct ourselves as a church, but he really doesn't get into heaven. He doesn't really get... Listen, we're reading about Jesus... As born-again Christians, we're studying about Jesus and who he's going to be when we will be in the land and in the, I don't want to say really world, but we'll be in the world reigning in cities. And we're going to see a group of people going and coming. And it's all going to be about Jesus. They're going to leave our gates of our city Looking to Jesus, speaking about Jesus, and they're going to be coming back into our gates, speaking of Jesus and what he said and what he learned. There's a place in, in one of the prophets says, you're not going to go witnessing for Jesus. They're going to kill you if you do that, because it's going to be all about Jesus. Therefore thy gate shall be open continually, 24-7. See, there is a 24-7. It's not now. Satan's got you fooled. Even either Ezra or Nehemiah, one of them, shut the gates and said, Listen, you stay here all night on the Sabbath. I'm going to come out there. I'll get rid of you. You know how true that man was to his word? They did not come back on the Sabbath. They shall not be shut day or night, that men may bring unto thee, God, the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Not going to shut the gates because people are going to be coming to Jesus all the time. Wouldn't that be great? Hopefully we can get back to the uh, farmer's market Saturday. Wouldn't it be great if we get down here and sit up and everybody drops what they're doing, drops their fruit and vegetables, and comes running to us to hear about the gospel. Now i got to give my pastor a call and say, Pastor, come on, you got to get some people down here. Everybody wants to get saved. I just ain't got the chance. Man, there's homeless people. There are people with watermelons in their hands. There's people who are fish. There's just people in the library. Every, even the ball players are coming. They all want to get I need help. Come on. That would be great. My pastor would probably say, man, cut the joke out. It's, I'm not serious. Come on, the whole. It's not happening today. The people I've witnessed to on the street ministry and all that, not one person has gotten saved. I've opened the Bible with some of them. I was unable to open up the Bible to a few of them. Got nowhere. But here you got to keep the gates open all the time. For what? For commerce? No. For Jesus. You know why stores are open 24 hours and the convenience store and all that? Because if you will give them the product and they got the money, they'll buy it. If you don't open your store 24 hours, they can't come and buy it. 
It's hard to believe when I grew up as a kid, things closed at certain hours of the night and there was nothing open on Sunday. And fathers were home with their children, with the wives and all that on Sunday. Every meal was around 4 and 5 and 6 o'clock at night. I was one of the first ones that had to leave the kids. My dad came home at 4 for dinner. There were kids at 5 o'clock. They would have to leave for dinner. And, then, you know, when I came back out to play, there were some kids that would have to leave at 6 because their father was coming home for dinner. Something went wrong. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Oh. I guess if America would be in the tribulation, she'd be gone by now. Because America will not serve God. You say, well, what about the faithful few that do? They would be taken out. Well, they would not. Let me take that back. They would be relocated while God got rid of America. God would relocate them. You don't want me in the schools. You don't want me in the courthouse. You don't want my word. You don't want anything to do with me. You want to be an abomination. All right. Those that are saved, come on out of her, Lot. Lot was just, wasn't he? Bible records just, Lot, will you come out of there? Come on. Liking Christians a lot. Yeah, we sin. And we come out of America and it's gone. We're going to see nations. That they do not serve God. The Bible speaks of one place, Egypt. They don't come. They're not going to get rain. Famine will destroy their nation. Now, I wonder if any Christians are going to get any of them nations or cities to rule over. Can you imagine a backslide Christian? Here you go. Here's a city. Oh, great, Lord. And then, you know what? It's going to come to destruction, just like your Christian life was. How would you like to have that? How would you like to have a rain in the city for a temporal time because you serve God as a temporal? Here, this city's only going to last for two years of the, of the thousand years. What do you mean, Lord? Well, you only served me for two, two years of your Christian law. Said the nations that do not follow him shall be utterly wasted and perish. This is in the millennium, with a lake of fire down there at the, at the Dead Sea. You go jump in the lake. When Lord Jesus Christ comes, there are nations that will be literally wiped off the world and put into hell. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. She's got the fir tree. I'm not first trees. I saw fir tree. She's got the uh, the cedar trees, and cedar trees smell great. The fir tree, the pine tree, the box together. And I think that box tree is a you know a tree that no one knows, so the Bible's wrong. I know what box tree is. It's a tree they make boxes from. If not, it's a box tree. To beautify the place of thy of my sanctuary. So fir tree, pine tree, box tree is what's going to be used to build the temple. And uses probably ornaments and furniture. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Really? You really believe that? That where the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be in Jerusalem? Glorious? And when you look at those feet, they're going to have scars? The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, bowing down. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Where the scars are, where it says it's going to be glorious, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, 
the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Today there's a dumb of the rock. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, that's today, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal, ex eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. That's not today. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, breast milk, which is very nourishing. It's of your mother. It's healthy. And only mother can put things into the milk that doesn't belong there. What I'm trying to say is, if you were to get this formula and in, in, uh, the stuff that you buy in the store, there's probably stuff in that stuff that you wouldn't even find in breast milk. Chemicals. The only chemicals you would find that doesn't belong in breast milk is you know, drugs, alcohol, smoking. But if a mother keeps herself clean and pure for, for her child, that breast milk will be healthy. It will be nourishing for that child to grow and to develop. Even cow's milk can't compare it because cow's milk is made for calves. Not babies. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, all capitalized, the Mighty One of Jacob. So the Gentiles are going to nourish and health Israel. That is definitely, absolutely not happening today. And it definitely will not happen in the tribulation period unless those few nations that do help them. Which I believe if I be few and slim. For brass I will bring gold. It's a better value from a lesser commodity. And for iron, I will bring silver. <clears throat> the little things will cost much or be of much value. Little is much when God is in it. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace. And thy extractors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in the land. You want to go pick? You want to pick up the newspaper today? Wasting nor destruction within thy borders. They're developing new missiles today. They're building these new fences and walls now. Because those Muslims and those Arabians and those Middle Easterns just love their cousin and their brother Jacob. Really? But thou shalt call thy walls salvation. Uh, uh, I think it's, I think the wall is called the wall of, oh, help me, wailing? The wailing wall? You know why you wail? Because you're in deep discomfort and pain and agony and sorrow and oh man. And thy gates pray. I don't know if there's any gates in Israel today. I haven't been there. I don't know. The sun shall be no more thy light by day. I'm trying to find the market. Revelation 21, 23, and 22, 5. Neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. Oh, Lord! You find this in Ezekiel 48, 30. Lord! You mean I can't get half naked and go sit in front of Baal at the beach? You ain't going to worship Baal at the beach no more. Mm 
you want to get a sunburn, you won't get a sunburn. Because you can't burn from the sun. That's a sign down the street, says. Yeah. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting John chapter 1. Capital L, John the Baptist says. You mean they couldn't take John chapter 1 and match it with Isaiah 60? And thy God, thy glory. But the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, shall be unto thee in everlasting light, John chapter 3, and thy God, Titus 2.13, God is Jesus, and Jesus is God. Thy sun shall no more go down. So the sun's going to be there. And it's going to stay there like Joshua's day. When he was in battle. Neither shall thy moon withdraw herself. So you can look up in the sky. There's the sun and moon together. And you see that a lot. Now I, I don't remember. I don't. Now I could have been wrong. As a child, you never really ever saw the sun and moon at the same time. But you, I notice now, and I, maybe I wasn't paying that much attention, but you see the sun and moon a lot together. I'm talking about middle of the afternoon. There's that moon still up there. And the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. <laughs> you think that's today? You think that is today? They shall inherit the land forever. There it is. No more Philistine. No more Ishmael. No more Arabians. No more Middle Eastern. No one fighting on the land. No more United Nuts. The branch of my planting. Isaiah 61.3 and Matthew 15.13. The work of my hands, that vineyard that God has planted, that I may be glorified, producing grapes and new wine. What's the Bible say about wine? It cheereth God and man. Some people think that's alcohol. No. That's the wine of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the, of the people of God, the Jews. A little one shall become a thousand. I will multiply these as the stars of the heaven, as the sand of the sea. And a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Not because we picked up the newspaper and think, oh, it's time. No, no, no. It's in the Lord's time. Always will be in the Lord's time. 